Hi everyone, in this lecture I'm going to introduce you to the BookLib application. This is our fourth and final application, full stack of application of this course. And in this application, we are going to cr uh, create a kind of library application where we have the title for our books, we have the author for that book, and we have the release year for that specific book. Now, this application is built completely with Django. This is a full stack multi-page application. But the thing with this application is that it is a relatively smaller application than the previous full stack Django uh, uh, project that we created. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dive in, in into what this application is all about and what we are going to create throughout this section. Uh, again, this is going to be a relatively small section. Think of this just as a practice section for the previous Django application that we built. So what do we have in the home page? We can see that our local host is 127.0.0.1 and our port uh, on which Django is, is listening on for incoming HTTP requests is port 8000. So in here, uh, what do we have is first, we have the title of our application and basically we have some sort of a table. Even though this resembles a table, this is not a table. I have styled it like tables because tabular data is easier to understand. So we have the title of our uh, book, then we have the author for that book, and then we have the release year. So when you hover on it, you get that cool like pop-up for every uh, single row. And you can see that the hand icon, the mouse cursor changes to a hand icon. So if you click on any any of these uh, books, you will be redirected to another page where you're going to see more information or basically the same information in a different format. So here you could go ahead and add more information. I didn't do that. This is a small application. This is just for practice, but I do encourage you to build on top of this. For example, what you could do is add a, a synopsis or summary of this book. So here it says A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Husseini, and it has been released in the year 2007. And then you can go back, you can click basically on any book and it's going to show it to you. Uh, we do have the Django admin as well. So if you just go to slash admin in here, um, you're going to need to type the, uh, your, uh, the username and the password for the admin. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to type this is the username and this is the password. Okay, so here we have um, we have two um, models. We have the author's model and then we have the books model. Within this author's model, what do we have? So some th uh, the thing that is different with this Django admin as opposed to the previous Django admin is that now we have multiple columns. Now in the previous application, we just had one column with a string representation that said, for example, this meeting has been scheduled on this date, in this room, and on this floor. But here we have different IDs for different authors. So if I go back to the books uh, model, what do we have here? Here we have the uh, ID. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, there we go. So here we have the ID column, then the title, the author, and then the release here. So this is going to be different uh, with this application. So uh, as far as the um, file itself is concerned, I will be uh, installing Django beforehand. So go ahead and fire up your VS Code or any other code editor you've been using so far. And through the pip env install Django, just go ahead and install it in a virtual environment. We are now working really advanced so i don't have to like show you how you can install django we have done it so many times before and in the next lecture what we are going to do is we are going to start uh, creating a django uh, project and a django app so see you in the next one